Now normally at a big international car show, the most audacious concepts are concept cars. Here in Geneva in 2016, the most audacious concept was a concept tire. That's what this is. This is Goodyear's concept of a new tire called the Eagle 360. You see where the 360 comes from. They are radically rethinking the thing that gives you contact patch by imagining it as a ball upon which the car sits not with mechanical suspension, but with magnetic levitation. Stay with me here. That's about as Star Wars as we're going to get. Now let's talk about why that's important. When you've got a spherical ball wheel, you can orient this thing any number of ways. You can actually have multiple tread patterns embedded in one tire and rotate to select them. There could be a sport pattern, there could be a low resistance pattern, there could be various patterns for different types of driving, there could be a dry pattern, a wet pattern, you could rotate to them. You can't do that kind of thing now without a lug wrench and a greasy half hour. And very practically, you can also rotate the tire to even out tread wear, the ultimate rotation of tires in the traditional sense. Now let's talk about that tread itself. Now, if you look in here closely, you see a tread pattern, but then in between the grooves, a new kind of foam they're imagining that would be almost at the surface in dry weather. Then in wet weather, the pressure of water being forced through these grooves would push that foam back, creating on demand the kind of water evacuating channels it needs. And then when it's dry, rises back up to something with more of a contact patch. Very interesting. And even these rubber lands here would be made of a material that can sense water and get a little more gushy when they need to be for grip, and when they're dry, a little bit stiffer. Now, the last big thought around a spherical tire wheel assembly is that it allows interesting maneuverability. I mean, we're still trying to digest rear wheel steering, right? But this is all corner steering. It's even more ambitious. It allows all kinds of crab crawl maneuvers while cornering, obviously direct lateral parking, things you can't do now unless you're making a movie like The Matrix. Now, the downside. This requires not just a new kind of tire in the world, this requires an entirely new kind of car. Car makers have to get on board in a big way and re-engineer almost everything they do from six inches above the ground on up to about 12 inches. I mean, the whole underpinnings of a vehicle are gonna be changed by this. That's a big ask. Oh yeah, and there's the magnetic levitation thing. But because this tire handles so many things that tires do badly today, it's worth keeping an eye on.